Erbil, the capital of Iraq's Kurdistan region, has witnessed profound change in terms of innovation, modernization, reconstruction, and development in recent years. The rapid progress is evident to all. In 2012, Erbil was selected as the capital of tourism for 2014 along with six other cities in the Middle East. Like any rapidly developing city, obstacles to development are still faced. In particular, the challenges of informal housing in the Korani Ankawa neighborhood located near the center of Erbil. This impoverished community has a population over 10,000 and about 1,500 houses. The neighborhood was first established in the 1960s after land was put on the market. From 1985, residents have informally subdivided plots without obtaining permits and in many cases sold them on. As a result, the legal status of this settlement became questionable. This led to a lack of investment by local authorities for physical and social infrastructure. The Arbil governorate identified the neighborhood as an area of concern and chose it as a site to pilot neighborhood improvement and improve housing delivery system in Erbil. The Erbil Governorate, UN Habitat and UNDP are working in close partnership in the implementation of this project. The development of the neighborhood master plan expanded over a period of three years. It made space for a school, kindergarten, nursery, health center, police station, parks, commercial areas, a community center, and an improved road network. The project has also been able to minimize evictions by facilitating the formalization of tenure through lengthy negotiations with landowners and informal residents. Where relocation from government land proved necessary, the UN planned a relocation site as Gerd Jutiar within the municipal boundaries and provided technical advice on compensation entitlements to ensure a smooth relocation. Iraq's housing situation suffers from overcrowding, inadequate housing standards and a lack of affordability. This is especially the case for low to middle income families and is a major concern for the UN and the Iraqi government. Many people, due to difficulties in accessing land and housing, end up living informally on government or privately owned land. Uh, one of the problems with, uh, with informal housing is that people who have built them are not always experts in housing design or construction. So in order to support them in extending and improving their houses, we've introduced housing facilitation units and also local facilitation units. These are staffed by local architects and residents from within the community, particularly women, who have good connections with the people living there and have established trust. They undertake physical and social surveys and outreach, and so far we've found this a very effective form of community participation in design and housing improvement. For an integrated approach to neighborhood improvement, the project is also mobilizing the community, specifically women and youth. The local facilitation unit conducted a socioeconomic study of 10% of the neighborhood's population. The culturally conservative and tribal nature of the community is a source of a variety of social challenges and numerous opportunities were found to overcome these challenges using local means. The first activity to empower community leaders and help build team spirit was the organization of the Korani Ankawa cleanup campaign targeting children. The second community event built awareness on health and environment issues in partnership with the Ministry of Culture and Youth. Through focus group sessions to discuss the design of the community center, 
10 potential leaders were identified among the community's residents. They are taking the lead in actively engaging the community in designing, building, and operating the community center. They will also be responsible for addressing the different needs of youth, women, and men in the community. The community center can serve as a tool by promoting opportunities for socioeconomic improvement in Korani and Kawa. The park will provide an urban public meeting place where the community can feel comfortable in exercising their activities within their cultural boundaries. براستی لذیگه چی زور زور ناره کنه لبر دا بون خان و تن من تزاوز بون لسر ملچی شاروانی لسر ملچی حکومت تاپو من نبو بی وضع بون زور بی او بی کار با خزمت گزار کار من ناره کنه استالی رو کنه زور زور سپاسی دو بار سپاسی هم دکه نوا چشم من نیه مشکل من نیه زاده ما و خزمت گزاری کار با او هیچ چشم من نیه قطاب خانه مزگوت من والو دکره چشم من نیه زور سپاسی حکومتی هریم دکه نوا سبارت با خانو کان زوس پاسی حکومتی هری مهاری کل رخرایی هابیتاتی سر با UN و رخرایی UNDP دکم ک دوریان هبو ل ل کورانی عن کوا استای ما خانو کان من هیچ شی نیو تابو من ورگرتی او هری کل ما دتوانی دستکاری بکاو خرک که یا ل دیکاتو زوی دوباره بینای دکا خرک که یا خرک خانو که گنزا و دتوانی بیکاتا دو تابقو با پی Korani Ainkawa School, which was constructed by UB Holding, is considered as a successful example of private sector contribution to the project and the neighborhood development. Bodu bara rexnawi projeti nishtazibul lana u Korani Ainkawa waku projeti rekupeka ba haukar legaluyen habitatu NDP wa wazalti plan u sharawani wa parezga. و چونیتی رخس نوی جانی او خالکانی که لامگر که کنی هولر در جان که باشه چیزوری با نیاسایی خان و کان با تجاوز درس کرده بو ملکیتی باشه که لو زویانه که بگر خوان ملک کانشی له هولر نبون و شیوازی خان و کانو برتنجیو جشنی نشینی خالک کی که شایسته نبو به صورتی وی ام برنامه دا که باشه که لبود زکی چونیتی پلان دانان و کار کردن لگل لگلی که سروی میلیونک دلار ل وزارتی پلانو و به هاو بشی لگل او بودجه فنده بجداری که یو این هویتات و یو این دی پی و بودجه پارزگه که در چارچی وی برنامه و در انزامه کانی دا آزیاتی لو چوارست خیزانی که گوازران و با کورانی نوی یعنی گرد زوتیار که تیتوی سرزم او زویان و او پروژانی که وکو پارزگه زی بزی من کرد که سروی پنزا و دو میلیون دولار بو و که با رزامندی سروکاتی انجومنی وزیران با دابین کردنی هد پارت زوی و ای بتواند که نیوشی اگر توانه داره یکی نبید نیوی بفروشد نیوی که تر خانوه که پی بکاد لدر انزام دا ام خلکانی که چونه گزدوتیار جشوین و شایسته بخویان و سرزم خزمت گزاری کانی او کاربا و او رو تابخانه و بنکو مزگوت و همون بابت کانی پیدا ویسی جان و کو گرکه چینی بایان دابین کرده که شایسته بر جانی ام خلکا و زیمانه وی شوی نکه دیکی او خلکه ایلا کوران مانه و بونی او پانتای زوری که لزوی بو خدمات که به خوشحالی و که درست کردنی او خزمت گذاری یعنی که استرشته در بردوام من لو بشه ایمانو و لکورانی انکا و و که هم بشه که بیتاد که کردیتی که هایید که حکمت یاریم کردیت من و سپاس شوی یو بی هولدین که قطاب خانه چی درست کردی رسی ارچی خوی و زیشوین زوی کانتی که ما و و زهر سر کردنی او چشانه ملکایتی زوی یا سایی که و او خانوان و ملکانی که لنا و کوران ما بونه و چکه خوان ملککان لیوی نبون لسوار سیوی ام برنامه دا امش زیب زیکره در هایوشتو در انزامه کانی ام برنامه هم اوانی لکورانی انکا و ما نوا هم اوانی که گوازره نوا که خزمت گزاری پیویست و زیشوین یه چی شایسته و بابته یا سایی کان چار سکره که به حقیقت پروژه چی رکوپیشی تونیتی خدمت کردنی خالق دوباره نیست زیبونی خالق لبابتی چی نیا سایی باشونه چی یا سایی و شایسته بزجان و پیدا است کانو آپیورانی که گرکان پیوسته که باید دنبی کرده. The project that we have seen as it has completed has been extremely successful and many of the issues that were existent previously in the Qurani and Kawa are no longer there. And this partnership between the UN agencies, government, private sector is a prime example of good uh, initiatives that can be replicated in 
uh, any, uh, in other areas of the Kurdistan region, whereby we can achieve our development objectives all together and by working together. The development of Korani Ain Kawa neighborhood led to the following achievements. Land tenure security and permanence of the majority of households in the urban settlement. Clearly distinguishing private owned lands and properties from public areas and government owned land. The representation of local authorities in the neighborhood consolidating various legal and municipal procedures and maintaining security. The availability of basic infrastructure services such as sewage and water supply. Availability of public facilities such as educational institutions. The permeability and links provided to the city of Erbil through the new street layout ensuring good connectivity with other parts of the city and preventing isolation. Allowing people to invest in home improvements. Capacity building of the women in the community through courses and training. Korani Ain Kawa is a pilot project to upgrade an informal settlement. A success story reflects a wide collaboration among UN agencies, Kurdistan regional government, NGOs, private sector, and local communities.